After their first training in Katowice, Croatian team spent some time with press at Videocall, where we had a nice chat with Ivan Cupic. Uh, so Ivan, can you tell me something about Croatian national team? What are the expectations for the championship? Yeah, of course, it's, it's new Croatian team, a uh, uh, young team, but of course, like uh, every, every Croatian guy, we are hoping for the best, but uh, we know that uh, it's a tough group and uh, we are playing against uh, three good teams, so our first goal in, 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 this, uh, in this championship in Poland is try to, to make four points to the, to the next phase. And what about your first um, opponent, Belarus? Uh, you played against them in the last championship in Qatar. You know them well, but what are their biggest strengths? Is it Rutenka or...? Yeah, of course. Rutenka is uh, fam the most famous guy in, in, in Belarus team, but uh, they have a good team. few of them uh, played a few years together in, 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 uh, in Meshkov, so of course uh, every, every, every tournament they are playing better and better, and of course first game it's uh, always tough, and I hope that we manage to, to win them and uh, start the champions with the, with the win. Hour later, official photo shooting, where Tomagoj Duvnak tried to show his football skills. Did he manage? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. He failed, but everyone had a good laugh. Boys continued with their photo shooting and we tried to catch a new team captain, Marco Kopler. He was casually chatting with his coaches and preparing himself for a fair play video announcement. After that, we caught a word with him. Uh, so Marco, how it is to be a new team, Croatian team captain? This is your first uh, big competition as a team captain. Yeah, it's a big honor for me. Uh, also, I have some new duties that uh, I wasn't accustomed of doing before and uh, have uh, many questions to be answered right now and uh, some new obligations, but uh, for now it's, it's doing okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the first game and uh, for now it's good and I have a lot of help from the other players and uh, in the end uh, we still play handball and uh, just try to keep a positive atmosphere here. Uh, what are Croatia's goals at this Euro? Obviously, first step is this group stage, but what's after? Well, uh, we came in a, in a lineup that's a little bit different than the last couple of, couple of championships, but uh, we have some young players and uh, we are trying to do two things to have a good uh, result in the end, but of course we are trying to do it with all these injuries that are uh, affecting us right now. On the other hand, we have these young players that we are trying to make better for them to, to get some confidence, some playing time in this big tournament and uh, hopefully uh, invest in the future. After everything was done, Croatians still had smiles on their faces.